you to AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Good morning. We are all getting up and ready for the day. My husband just left and I just got myself ready. Still need to make my bed, but I'm also going to switch some laundry that I started this morning and now I need to get the kids up to get them ready to head out for school. I just worked on a video this morning, so that is ready to go, and I have my water here. I try to drink a full 40 ounces before I have my coffee, before I do anything else. I try to drink a full one of these, and when I walk in the morning, like I did today, I don't do it every single day, but when I do, that generally helps me to drink it because I definitely build up a sweat. I have been having such a hard time getting up at 5.30, like I had been doing throughout the fall, like late summer into the fall. I loved getting up at 5.30, but it just has been almost impossible for me. So six o'clock has been kind of my new wake up time, but it's uh, that cuts off a half hour. So I'm trying to get back to it, but I'm also realizing it's, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. It's the dead of winter and I need to prioritize maybe a little more sleep. So yeah, we're gonna get our day going and I'm gonna bring you along. All right, we are back home from drop off. I'm actually go going to take advantage of this time before nap time to hang a couple of prints in the boys' room. So my husband and I actually thrifted these just the, I don't know, this past weekend, I guess. And he actually found them and they are amazing. They're all hand stitched and there's like some texture in here and then the longer stitches, they are just Awesome. I love a little pop of red also against the wall color in their room, which is definitely, it's a gray, but it's definitely a green gray. To me, it's definitely more green, but it really depends on the lighting. And I love how the red looks up against it. And then they also have, we have this one above one bed. And it actually, it looks stitched, but it's not. It's actually completely smooth here. It's just made to look that way. But again, love the pops of red, love the Americana. So we already had this one in here. So when I saw these, as soon as Dan held it up, I was like, yes. We sh I thought we were just gonna get one. He only saw one at first, and then he found the other one. So we got both. Let's see, is the price on there? They were $3.49. I don't remember if there was any sale going on that day. But we actually discovered some new thrift stores, which was incredibly exciting. Like two new ones that we didn't even know about. So just something to file away. But I'm gonna go ahead and hang them. Do we center it above the crib or do we center it on the wall between the edge of the wall and the door? So I, we decided to center it on the wall. It looked awkward if we centered it over the crib because then there was a big space here. And we could kick the crib out a little bit and center the crib on the wall also, but it just kind of interferes with the, the carpet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center on the wall. Let's go ahead and put those up. Frames are up. I'm gonna use some sticky tack. I got the white kind. I had blue sticky tack, but I definitely didn't want to put that on the, um, you know, the wallpaper. And honestly, even like putting a nail hole in the wallpaper kind of pains me. But since it's such a simple color scheme, it'd be really easy to fill the hole and like paint over it or just really just fill it with white. I have heard good tips about you can actually like cut a little V slice into the wallpaper and lift it up and then nail into that. And then whenever you don't wanna you know, have a nail, you can just kind of re-glue that same spot down. That is another option. I did just nail right into it. I feel like at some point there will always be something on that wall, even if we wind up doing, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do in this room when the boys are older. It's really not big enough to do like two full, like twin size beds, like two twins in here. 
I mean, you could technically, but they might wind up with bunk beds or it is possible in the future that we might reconfigure all the bedrooms again because if we ever do the garage conversion that we really want to do, that would most likely, most likely become my husband and my room. And then we might reconfigure, give the big room to the boys and then have the girls. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm not worried about that far in advance. So I'm just going to put a little sticky tack on the frames and I really love how they look. All right. So now that that project is done, I'm going to make breakfast. Boys just ate while I was doing that. So they're just playing in their room now and now I'm going to eat. I'm still doing like intermittent fasting. Honestly, it's you know, like everyone says, it's basically become like a lifestyle at this point. I don't even think about it. It's just my normal routine. So I like to eat dinner around like six, anywhere between 5.30 and 6.30 is ideal. Sometimes on the weekends, obviously that changes. And then uh, I like to eat breakfast around 9.30 or 10 ish in that in that range. I love to make a, a meal. I like to sit down and eat my breakfast. It's just honestly one of my favorite times of day. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And then we do have a couple exciting things happening today. One thing is that we actually wound up hiring out the finishing of our basement staircase or at least the spackling. So my husband started to spackle it and we've done a lot of renovating over the years. Spackling has never been either of our strong suits. So he did it, he attempted it, but he just doesn't feel super confident that he's gonna finish it out and just make it really smooth and seamless. So we did wind up talking to somebody. They're gonna come today. They came yesterday to assess it. They're gonna come today and do taping because we didn't even finish all the taping. We kind of didn't even realize. And then it'll be ready for us to finish painting. And by us, that's basically me. I'm the painter. I enjoy it. I, you know, I like the detail work. I'm also able to pick up my dress today, which I'm really excited about. I mentioned it in like a thrifting video that I had thrifted a dress. So I took it to a tailor and it should be ready to pick up today. So hopefully, knock on wood, it will be ready and I can get it today and show you guys. All right, we are all fueled up for the morning. I'm throwing in a second load of laundry and we're gonna, the boys are gonna play in the basement. I'm gonna tidy it up because we actually have family coming to stay and visit later this week. So I just want to kind of refresh bedding because this is like a play space, but also our, our guest room essentially. So I just want to kind of like tidy it up, do a sweep and then also because we're working on the the staircase, it's very dusty, unfortunately. So, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna clean this back area. I, I'm not gonna worry too much over here because it's just gonna get all dusty again once he's done spackling. And anyone that's renovated knows that even like a day later, still the dust continues to settle. So I'll have to probably do a final cleaning like that morning or afternoon or so. But anyways, I'm gonna do what I can and just tidy up like the, the living play space. Okay, I just went through all of our dress up things and I pulled out a good amount that I'm going to go ahead and donate. And I also threw in um, a blanket. We had an extra throw blanket in here. So I'm really happy about that. The kids really do do dress up a lot. So they use this a lot. And I've considered like hanging them on a rack and like, making it really cute. But honestly, they would never put it back and make it look, you know, that way. So this, just one container, they shove them in, that works for us. This area is looking much better. I moved all the couches and cleaned under them, vacuumed. <laughs> this is sort of my pillow graveyard, if you will. All the pillows that I don't use upstairs or that I like to kind of swap out. I just kind of keep them there. I'm washing bedding and that bed is still a work in progress. If you've been around, you've known. 
or you know that we've been wanting, you wanna climb on the couch, to do like built-ins around this bed. And I just have a, a load of laundry that I need to bring up. I pulled out a bunch of things to donate, which is kind of all piled up in here, which is a big mess, but I'll have to deal with that at a later time, because we're gonna go do lunch, and then quiet time, and then I have plenty of things to work on during that time. All right, so the basement is tidied up. Again, only as much as I'm really gonna focus on today. We have a pull-out bed, so again, when when they get here, then we'll pull it out and set up the actual bed, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, the spackle guy is supposed to be here, I think in like 20 minutes. So I just cleaned up the kitchen, swept the floors, because he'll be going down to the basement, and I just wanted to get it done. But I have some work to do on the computer, and then I will probably have lunch. And the boys are in, are both gonna go down for a nap, but I think they are still awake, or at least one of them. So we'll see how this afternoon goes. It's always a toss up. I'd like to break away for just a couple of minutes to share with you a little more about today's video sponsor, AG1 by Athletic Greens. I came out to my sunroom to get a little bit of quiet. I have been such a happy customer of Athletic Greens since I started about nine, 10 months ago and has really become an essential part of my morning routine, part of my health journey, if you will. I have really started to focus more on my health ever since I sort of weaned my son and just wanted to get back into feeling like myself. And it has just been a seamless integration. AG1 is an all-in-one health supplement. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food, plant-based ingredients, and it just really helps to fill in those nutritional gaps in my diet. Each scoop of AG1 is nine health products in one, giving you the equivalent of a multivitamin, minerals, probiotics, and more. AG1 supports your energy, focus, gut health, digestion, immune system, and mental clarity with, again, you don't have to take a bunch of different products or pills. It's all in one scoop once a day. With your first purchase, you'll get a one-year supply of their immune-supporting vitamin D3 K2. And vitamin D is really so essential, especially this time of year, if you live in a climate where the sun maybe is not shining as much as it usually is. This is such a great way to supplement some vitamin D into your Diet. You can take two drops daily of their vitamin D3 K2 and again it's supporting your vascular system, bone health, respiratory and immune health, nerve health, muscular health, and more. Again over the nine months or so that I've been having AG1 and sharing it with you guys I've had people ask me about how does it taste and to me it's almost has a bubblegum flavor or taste to it. And even when I make it and my kids happen to smell it or they walk by, they'll be like, what is, why does it smell like gum in here? Because to me, it has a very fruity, bubblegummy kind of flavor. You don't, you taste the greens kind of, but it's definitely not overpowering. I've had way stronger green juices in my life and it's not that at all. It's actually pretty pleasant. I don't mind taking it every day. It has just been really effortless to incorporate it into my routine. So if you are interested in checking out AG1 by Athletic Greens, you can click my link down below to again, get that one year supply of vitamin D3 K2 and five free travel packs free with your first purchase. All right, well those guys are actually already gone. They did that so quick, which is just a testament to, you know, sometimes it pays to hire a professional. So they're gonna be back tomorrow, they said actually, to, I guess, sand it. So that's awesome. Now I'm just wrapping up what I'm doing. It is, you know, I'm gonna be eating lunch pretty soon. And then I gotta go head out, pick up the girls. And then I have some donations to drop off the stuff that I found in the basement, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I don't know, I don't think we're really gonna have time. I have to, uh, we have Bible study tomorrow morning, so I need to do that with the girls. I need to do mine as well. I need to make dinner, so I probably won't be able to do that. Oh, but my dress, hmm. Maybe I'm gonna have to go pick up my dress. The problem is it's like in the complete opposite direction. So I'm tempted to just come back home and then when my husband's home maybe, well, I think they'll be closed by then. Hmm, I 
I really want to show you, but I could also go tomorrow and then just pop in a clip so that you guys can see the dress. I might have to do that instead. I don't want to rush our afternoon. All right, so I just grabbed my uh, laundry dryer just went off. So I actually like to wash my pillows when our guests come over the actual physical like insert for them. So those are all washed and dried. That was one load. And then I washed a blanket and the duvet cover and then, um, you know, I'll restuff it again. I'm not going to worry about it uh, right away because they're not coming for a couple days. What in the world? I don't even know. Oh, okay. That came off pretty easy. Okay. So that is done. This area is again, looking much better. That's the mattress. I need to, obviously we'll put that down when they come but like i said the spacklers are done they were so quick and they did all along the ceiling so that was something we actually didn't do but then i was advised to run a fan on it because they said they're going to come back tomorrow just so just to make sure that it is dry you know i'm just going to go ahead and run that and they did such a good job good job and were so quick and there were even like some ceiling patches that need to be done and even like up higher up the stairs once all of this is done we can finish the flooring the flooring was never even done because we needed to do sheetrock first so this whole strip needs to be finished and then we'll do baseboard trim all along there and then we can finally paint i need to paint the walls paint the stairs and then we can finally do a runner and you guys gave me some good feedback about runner options so yeah, that is gonna be fun to finally pick one out. Ooh, it is freezing outside, but we just got back from school. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and we're probably going to relax a little bit and then we're gonna do our bath study. All right, well, all my helpers <laughs> went down to the basement and left me, but I did finally finish this puzzle. They helped me a lot, but I did the last maybe 10%. So let me know in the comments, are you a puzzle person? Because it is literally like pulling teeth for my husband. He does not enjoy it at all. And I get super fixated on it and it drives me crazy to not have it finished. And sometimes I like can't pull myself away. I'm just, you know, one more piece, one more piece. But yeah, that was a fun one. No, what do you mean one more piece? Like I just want to put one more piece in. And then when I get that one in, I want to put another one in. And now we're done. So I've also been listening to, um, the book right now that I'm listening to is called The Year of Less, which I think came out a while ago, written by Kate Flanders. And it's like a autobiography of her like journey to basically buying less and having less. And I remember her hearing her in an interview years ago, but it's been cool to listen to uh, her story from the beginning. And what I've been doing lately is uh, I've been having like two books going simultaneously. Mommy. I'll read one and then I'll also Mommy. listen to one. Yes, buddy. Sometimes it'll Mommy. be the same book. Mommy. If I can get the same book on audiobook, then I can like read it at night and then listen to it during the day and just kind of go back and forth. But if I'm reading, reading, like listening and reading to two different books, I try to have one be like a, you know, non-fiction basically and then one will be a fiction, just so that I don't like get confused with the stories. All right, dinner is homemade meat sauce. I prepped the meat earlier this week, so that came together really easily. And we'll top the pasta, some roasted cauliflower, and some salad with the dressing that I also prepped. And there's some feta and tomatoes and some cucumber underneath. I'll just toss it all together and we're gonna eat. All right, it's the next day, and I was actually able to get my dress back from the tailor. They did such an amazing job. I love, they actually tightened up the sleeve, and the neckline is like the main thing that I loved about this dress. I just loved how unique it is, and then, you know I love a scallop, and then I love the all over block print, but it just needed, you know, some tailoring. Pretty positive this was like a tunic that was meant to be worn over pants, but I wanted to wear it as a dress. So the slit was just a little too high. So I had her close up the slit and then she just sort of slimmed the sides and then she took in the sleeves. And I love that, and it's kind of hard to tell, the sleeves have like a little bit of a, like a poof to them. I don't know, it's very subtle, 
but I think she did an amazing job. So with a belt, I have a brown belt and I also have this black belt, which I think looks better with the, the pattern. But I just think it looks so cute. It's such like a unique piece. I don't I don't have anything like it. I've never had anything like it. I'm pretty sure it's cotton and it, it's absolutely handmade. Like I can just tell there's no tag in it and you can just tell by the stitching inside. It's definitely like a handmade piece. So very unique, very one of a kind and I'm so glad to have it. So that is gonna be a wrap on this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to update you soon with some more at Basement Progress. So if you are not subscribed, be sure to stick around and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys, bye.